Hey guys, welcome back to your mat for another 30 minute date with yourself. We're just gonna connect our breath to our movement. So once our forehead comes down to that mat, nothing else matters. Meeting in our child's pose, taking in that deep inhale. And then sigh that breath out loud, you know. Taking in another deep inhale. And again, sigh that breath out loud, you know. Lock down your throat, starting that Ujjayi breath, that deep inhale through your nose. And exhale through your nose. So taking the time to establish that breath, expanding your diaphragm. So the breath in and out of your nose regulates the temperature in your body. Yoga is designed to help all 12 of your systems. It is not just the postures, it is the breath combined with the postures. Your central nervous system greatly benefits from that breath along with the lowering of blood pressure in the, in the practice. Maybe locking down the rest of your bond as the pelvic floor, which draws your floating ribcage upwards. So the awareness is to the inside of our bodies and how we are moving them. Taking in two more breaths in your child's pose. And that's it. One last deep inhale. And that's it. Inhale, igniting through those palms, walking them up to your torso, curling up over those toes, drawing your seat to your feet. Knees together. Inhale, palms to the sky. And then exhale into your heart center. Just closing your eyes here and set your intention for your practice. Whatever brings you to your mat, and keep that in mind. Just honor your body. Take your palms to your body and see how you practice. And back down to your heart center. On that next inhale, leaking up those eyes, warming up with those cow cats. And it is your effect to movement, not even my cue, as we inhale into our cow. And exhale into that cat. Inhale into the cow. Exhale into the cow. One more cow cat. And exhale. Inhale into that tabletop cow cat variation. Exhale, we're going to take our right knee, left palm, meeting in the center. Inhale into that cow. And exhale into your cow. Inhale into your cow. And exhale into that cow. One more inhale. And exhale. Inhaling back with your tabletop. And exhale. We're going to come into that variation on this side. Left knee, right palm. Inhale into that cow. And exhale into that cat. Inhale into that cow. And exhale. One more. And exhale. Inhale back to the tabletop. And exhale. And that next inhale, we're going to walk our palms back toward our torso, drawing yourself all the way up, coming into a back bend. So start out with the small one, taking those palms on the back, the lower part of your spine, draw your elbows in together. On that next inhale, you're rolling your shoulders back, coming into your back bend. Make sure you're not leaning back. Your hip stays at the top of your mat. You want to go as far as your body will allow. Taking two more breaths, inhale. And exhale. One last breath. And exhale. Inhale, mind for slowly coming back up. And exhale. You could stay here or take that further. So on your next inhale, come back into that back bend or releasing your right fingertips onto that right heel and then the left. And if you lean back to get in that, make sure you take your hips back to the top of your mat. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One last deep inhale. And exhale. Inhale mindfully, drawing yourself back up. And exhale, place those palms. Coming back into that tabletop. 
On your next inhale, let's take that left foot out to the side. Find your three points of contact with your foot the mat. Maybe lift up your toe. Let's grab your pinky toe mount line into that mat. Inhale. And then exhale. Push back. Try to get that seat to your foot. Inhale. Rise. Exhale. Back. Inhale. Rise. Exhale. Back. Just flowing with your breath and movement. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. One last one. And exhale. Inhale. Rise. And exhale, right? Inhale. Reach to those right fingertips to the sky. Twist it from your waist. Create peace fingers. And then exhale. Bring that in. Coming down onto that shoulder on this side. Maybe your peace fingers make it to that left big toe. Maybe they don't. Do not force anything. Inhale. Maybe possibly coming into the bind. Rotating that left arm over your spine. Reaching for that right thigh. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Making sure those exhales are matching your inhales. Taking your time because you were worth that effort with that breath. Coming into one last easy inhale. And exhale. On your next inhale, release that body if you've taken it. Just left palm back to the top of your mat. And exhale. Inhale, sliding that right palm gaze back to the sky. Exhale, back down to your mat. Inhale, walk those palms back to your torso, coming to your gate pose. Inhale, taking that right palm, releasing it on your side. Reach through those left fingertips. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, taking those left fingertips, reaching through them onto your left thigh. Reach through your right and come to your lateral stretch on this side. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One last deep inhale. And exhale. Inhale, reaching through both fingertips back up to the sky. And then exhale into your heart center, placing it down into your mat, crawling back out into that tabletop. On that next inhale, you're going to release that left knee back underneath your hip. On your next inhale, take that right foot out to the side. Ground that pinky toe mound line into your mat. Maybe lift up your toes. Be mindful of the three points of contact. Inhale, taking that left palm gaze up to the sky. Create those peace fingers and then exhale. We're coming down onto that left shoulder. Again, maybe that makes that contact onto your big toe. If not, that's okay. Releasing that right palm over your spine. Grabbing for that left thigh. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Taking three more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Taking in one last deep inhale. And exhale. On your next inhale, if you take that bind, release that right palm back to the top of your mouth. And exhale. Inhale, sliding that left palm gaze back to the sky. And then exhale, back down to your mouth. Inhale, walking those palms back toward your torso, coming into your gate pose on this side, releasing that left palm into your mat, reaching through those right fingertips. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One last breath. And exhale, bring inhale, reach for those right fingertips, placing them down onto that right thigh, left go up the sky, and then we exhale, come to that lateral stretch on this side. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Take one last deep inhale. And exhale. Inhale, reaching both fingertips back up to that sky. And then exhale, your palms into your heart center, crawling back out into that tabletop. Release that right knee back underneath your hip. Coming into tabletop, curl up over your toes, down with dog. Try to melt your heels to that mat. Bend one knee to the other, crown of your head is pointed toward the earth. And we're slowly bending one knee to the other because we're not in a jazz exercise class. Taking your time. 
And then on that next inhale, bring that downward dog to a still. We try to melt our heels to the mat. If your heels are not there, that is okay too. If they are, press those heels to the mat. Try to lift up your toes. <clears throat> and just take one last deep inhale. And exhale. On that next inhale, walk the palms back towards your torso. Cover to the three points of contact with your feet, the mat hinging from your waist. That rag doll, opposite palms to your elbow. Make sure the crowd is the top of your head points to the earth, you have bend in your knees, and we sway from side to side. You have that coordination. It's mindfully moving your body and thinking about how you are moving it. And just taking two more breaths here. Exhale. One last inhale. And exhale. Bringing that breath down to still. Releasing that right palm to the center of your feet. We exhale, twist from our waist, taking that left palm gaze up the sky. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Take one last breath. Exhale. Inhale that left palm down where your right is, twisting from your waist. Exhale, right palm gaze up the sky. Inhale. Exhale. One, last breath, and exhale. Inhale that right palm back down to your mat, and exhale. Right, inhale, walk back out to your downward dog, and fully push back into that downward dog. Take one last breath, and exhale. Now we're gonna inhale to your high plank, just roll over your toes, stack the shoulders over your wrist, and if a high plank is too much for you, please drop down to your knees, that's how you honor your body. And just take another breath in your high plank, and exhale. On your next inhale, we lower ourselves down with that mat. So you're going to create chaturanga elbows with the shelf. Try to get your chin there first and untucking your toes last. Baby cobra, inhale, rise. 10% of that weight's in your palms. Use those back muscles for your shoulders. And exhale, back down to your mouth. Inhale, rise to your baby cobra. And lift your breath. Exhale, back down to your mat. And then one more time. Inhale, rise to your baby cobra. Exhale, back down to your mat. <clears throat> and then inhale to your full cobra. Push your palms. You're going to round out that spine. Get those shoulders away from your ears. Exhale, your gaze back in the center. Inhale. And then exhale, twist. Looking over that left shoulder. Inhale, back to center. And then exhale, looking over that right shoulder. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, releasing your mouth. On your next inhale, just lift up through that right leg. Exhale, back down to your mat. Inhale, that left. Exhale, to your mat. Inhale, right. Exhale, to your mat. Inhale, that left. Exhale, to your mat. One more time on each side. Inhale, that right. Exhale, to your mat. Inhale, that left. Exhale, to your mat. On your next inhale, you're going to inhale that right leg up, bend that left knee, and then try to get that left foot underneath your right knee. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One last deep inhale. And exhale. We're going to inhale, release both legs in your mat, and come into cobra. And then exhale, back down to your mat. You're going to inhale that left leg up, bending that right knee, and try to get that right foot underneath your left knee. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Taking one last deep inhale. And exhale. Inhale, releasing both legs in your mat, round out your spine, come into your cobra. And then exhale back down into your mat. Inhale again to a cobra or to an upward facing dog. And then we exhale, roll back to your downward dog, roll over the toes, push back into that downward dog. Inhale. And exhale. Flowing with your breath, inhale, reach back, right palm, left ankle. We exhale, twist from our waist. Inhale, release, taking that left knee down, come into a side plank. So be mindful how you're moving your body, reaching through those right fingers. Inhale back into your downward dog. 
Exhale, inhale, left palm to your right ankle, and then exhale, twist from your waist. Inhale, releasing, taking that right knee down to your mat. Find forward what you're doing with your left, reach to those left fingertips. Good, flowing with your breath, breathe on that again on each side. Inhale, back, come to your downward dog. Exhale, inhale, right palm, left ankle. Exhale, twist. Inhale, release. Left knee, reaching to those right fingertips. Inhale, back down. Coming into your downward dog, fully push back to your downward dog. On your next inhale, left palm, right ankle. Exhale, twist. Inhale, release that right knee down to your mat. Side plank, come. And then we inhale back to your downward dog. Fully push back to that downward dog. On your next inhale, walk your palms back towards your torso. So we're going to come into monkey pose or gorilla pose or how to boost half now. Create those peace fingers once again, wrapping them around. Your big toe. You have a bend in your knees. We inhale into a half lift. And then exhale, elbows out the side. Try to get a torso side connection. Draw the crown on the top of your head towards the earth. And may I remind you, your pose is not to look like mine. It's to look like yours. And just taking two more breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. One last deep inhale. And exhale. Inhale, releasing those three fingers from your big toes. Coming into that half lift. And then exhale, coming to a full fold. Again, you can have a bend in your knees. You do what your practice calls for. And just take one last deep inhale here. And exhale, come back into that half lift. So now we have Pada Hastasana. It's the same idea. So now you're going to flip up your palms and place them underneath your feet. So your toes are tickling the back of your wrist. Palms are facing up. Same idea. You know, bend to that knees. You inhale into a half lift. And then exhale, take those elbows out the side, trying to get a torso to thigh connection. Again, drawing the crown. The top of your head is facing the earth. We have vertebrae. And they don't end just with your back. They're in your neck. Align your body. A lot of people in this class, I see you, you can't have your neck jacked up or looking around. It's not alignment. Drop the crown, and you can only drop your head as the forge your body will allow. It is a practice of opening up your body. Taking in one last deep inhale here. And exhale. Inhale, release those palms back with your mouth. And then exhale, crawl back out to that downward dog and fully push back into that downward dog. Inhale. Take two more breaths here. Inhale. And exhale. One last deep inhale. And exhale. Inhale, dropping down those knees on that tabletop. Lift up those toes, crawl those palms back to your torso. Take your feet out to the right side and coming into your seats. Bring your legs out in front of you. So having your feet into that mat. So there's pigeon that we work on, and sometimes that's too much for some. And then on there's a supine pigeon, reverse pigeon, where we bring it in. So here's one sitting up. Be mindful, inhale, take that right ankle. And I think I did this a couple of classes ago. But we all practice all the postures all the time, and all of the postures benefit our bodies. So we're gonna take our palms, clasp them around our shins, and then draw them that left foot into your torso. So again, only go as far as your body will allow. So when you're drawing that in, make sure you're not rounding out your spine, you're lengthening through and draw yourself in. And again, your pose to look like yours, not mine. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Take three more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Taking one last deep inhale. And exhale. And we inhale slow. Releasing that left foot, sliding it up. Taking that right ankle off. Our left knee come all the way up. 
I'm gonna do the opposite side. So taking that left ankle and placing it onto that right knee. And again, you're making that figure four. I have to be more mindful on this side because I popped my knee and it's before quarantine hiking and still not completely healed. So again, we're wrapping our palms around that shins and then drawing that right foot into our torso. Again, make sure we're not rounding out our spines, lengthen, it's mindfully moving your body. Flexing through that left foot. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Take three more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Take one, back, inhale, and exhale, inhale, release palms from that right shin, let that leg slide out, taking that left ankle off the right knee, then drawing yourself all the way up, releasing those legs out in front of you, coming into a staff pose. So again, you want to have your spine, so you have the movable bottom, which draws your floating rib cage upwards, and it's just the practice of engaging those muscles. So finding your staff pose with the palms on your side, pulling your shoulders back. We're gonna inhale, rise up through your right leg, just push through that heel, and you only come up this far as your body will allow. Exhale, just stay here for another breath, inhale. And then exhale, release that right leg into your mat, come all the way up. And then inhale, rise through that left, push through your heel, and only come up as far as your body will allow. Taking in one, at last deep inhale. And then exhale, release that left foot back into your mat, come all the way up. Inhale, rise to that right foot. We're gonna exhale out to the side. Inhale, back to the center. Take it for another breath, exhale. Inhale, and then exhale, release back into your mat. Inhale, that left leg up, push your heel. Exhale, out to the side. Inhale, back in the center. Exhale, stay here. One last deep inhale. And exhale, release into your mat. Come all the way up. So we're getting those hip flexor muscles. On your next inhale, take that right leg up. Push through that heel. You only rise as much as your body will allow. We're gonna exhale out to the side. Inhale, back to the center. And exhale. So on this inhale, take the palm. Now I want you to draw that leg up. And so if you have to bend it, you're gonna to have to come to this the best as you can. So when we lengthen through the back of our legs and bring that in, if you have tight back of the legs, this is gonna be your posture, and I know you don't think so. I have very tight back of the legs, sciatic nerve on my left, so we lengthen that out. To put the working out, it does relieve pain. So you only bring that leg in as much as far as your body will allow. Be mindful of your whole date and how you have your spine, Taking in two more breaths here, inhale, exhale, one last deep inhale, and exhale, inhale, bringing that right leg back down to your right, draw yourself all the way up, inhale, left leg up, push the back heel, exhale, out the side, inhale, drawing that back in, not touching that leg yet. Take one last deep inhale, you have this. And exhale, on that next inhale, you again draw that leg in as far as your body will allow. So this is the one I have a problem on the side with the, I mean, both of my legs are very tight in the back. For me to have practiced yoga for about eight years, it is, and my body has come a long way. And yours will too, it's just that practice. So don't force anything. And I like to remind your pose is not to look like mine, nor your neighbors. Two more breaths, inhale, and exhale. One, last deep, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, release that left leg back down to your mat. Come all the way up with your staff pose. So now, bring her legs back in, planting those feet to your mat, and then slowly lower yourself down to your mat. You can always use your palm. You come down to that mat, draw your knees into that chest, create that ball of energy, flex it through your feet. And take two breaths here, inhale, and exhale. One, last deep inhale, 
and exhale. Inhale, releasing those feet to your mat. Coming into a bridge on this side, so you're gonna try to dust the heel with the bridge. You wanna dust the back of your palms to your heels. And if we can't make that, that's okay too. That's also yoga. On your next inhale, push into the three points of contact, draw up your seat up to the sky, coming into your bridge. If you're new or you have, a, this is good for you here, please do not move and stay into your bridge and maintain that breath. Maybe on that next inhale, we're gonna rise up through that right leg, left palm and toe tap, toes, and then come back down mindfully, finding that bridge. Inhale, right palm, left leg. Exhale, back down to your mat. Fully come to your postures before we move. Inhale, right leg, the palm. Exhale, back to your mat. Inhale, right palm, left leg. Back to your mat. Two more times on each side. If you have this, inhale, rise. Exhale, mat. Inhale, rise. Exhale, to your mat. Inhale, rise. Exhale, to your mat. Last side, inhale, rise. And then exhale, back to your mat. Come fully in your bridge. And then take one last deep in you. And exhale. Inhale, slowly lower your seat down to that mat, drawing your knees to your chest, flex to your feet, creating that ball of energy. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Take one last breath. And exhale. Inhale, release those legs and that tabletop. Your palms are out the side, facing up. And on that exhale, twisting from your waist. Your knees go over to that left. Try not to let your right shoulder blade up. Maybe close your eyes here as you take your gaze over to your right. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One last inhale. And exhale. Inhale through your head, your gaze back to the center first, protect your spine. Then exhale those knees back to your chest. Flex it through your feet, draw your knees to your chest. Inhale. And exhale. On your next inhale, release those legs to your tabletop. Your palms are outside facing up. On that exhale, take your knees over to that right side. Try not to let that left shoulder go. And again, possibly close your eyes here as you take your gaze over to your left. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Three more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One last deep inhale. And exhale. We inhale, take your head, your gaze back to the center first. Protect your spine. Then exhale those knees back to your chest. Flex your feet. Wrap your arms around your legs. Create that ball of energy. Inhale. And exhale. Let's inhale, release those feet into our mat. We're going to go into some windshield wipers. Release into that lower spine. So take your knees over to your left side. And again, you're not in a hurry with this either. You want to feel everything. So we're slowly taking those knees over to your right side. Inhale to the left. And then exhale. Just slow, slow with the breath. Come to the right side. Let's go one more time on each side. Inhale, back to your center, drawing those knees back to your chest, creating that ball of energy, and then rounding out our practice with the happy baby, taking those feet up into the sky. It's happy baby, not forced. So if you can't grab one of the outside, just insides, grab your ankles, 
even if your legs are extended out, you can try to bend those knees, try to get each knee on the opposite side of your torso, getting into those hips. Your feet are like they're facing up to the sky. Possibly close your eyes here. If it feels good, if we sway from side to side, still maintain that breath because we are still on that date with ourselves. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Two more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. One last deep inhale. And exhale. Inhale, release those knees and your chest, flex through your feet, wrapping your arms around your legs, creating that ball of energy. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, reach and everything, hovering over your mat like a starfish. And you're not in a hurry here either. Exhale back with your ball of energy, forehead to your knees, wrap your arms around your legs, flex through your feet. Inhale out. Exhale to your ball. Inhale out. Exhale back to your ball. Inhale all the way up, palm of your face and up. And then exhale, release to your mat. For Shavasana, you melt into your mat, let your feet fall to the side. Come to whatever breath comes natural to you. And you take a few moments to appreciate what you just asked your body to do. And you can always stay here or come to the side, a fetal position on either side, drawing your knees into your chest and using your opposite arm as a pillow. And inhale. Stay there and meet me at the top of your mat. Taking your palms in your heart center. Always take your right foot in, followed by your left. Be strong, but not rude. Be kind, but not weak. Be bold, but not a bully. Be humble, but not timid. Be proud, but not arrogant. The light in me honors and recognizes the light inside of you and I humbly appreciate you letting me guide you in your practice. Namaste. And as always, thank you for showing up on your mat and taking care of yourself and moving your body the best that you can.